Today I'm going to do a review on the Frostmire's Hex and let you guys know whether it's good or not and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So with Iron Banner gone for the month, I had a little time with one of the weapons that were available for purchase from Lord Saladin. I ended up getting two Krimmel's Daggers, which are the newer Iron Banner hand cannons. I got those from turning in tokens as well as two Frostmire's Hexes, which is the newer Iron Banner scout rifle, and I bought one of them from Lord Saladin, and then the other one was from Tokens. I didn't even read the perks when I started using the Frostmire's Hex. I just went into PvP completely blinded. But before I go over what I think about the Frostmire's Hex, let's go over a little bit of the core to the scout rifle. The Frostmire's Hex is an energy scout rifle with an RPM of 260, an impact of 45, a range of 34, stability is at 52, the magazine size is 16, it has a reload speed of 40, and a handling of 30. Now, I've never seen this in Destiny Tracker before, but it has an extra unmarked hidden stat, and I want to assume that is 47 power. It has a zoom of 20, an inventory size of 60, an aim assist of 72, and it has a recoil direction of 56. As for the perks, we have the intrinsic perk of Vase Rapid Fire, which fires this weapon in full auto and gives you deeper ammo reserves, slightly faster reload when magazine is empty. Then we have Corkscrew Rifling, Arrowhead Break, Fluted Barrel, High Caliber Rounds, Extended Mag, as well as Dragonfly. Now, I actually put an Arc Damage uh, mod on mine. My own also has a... Uh, Frumir's blue shader on it, as well as I made this weapon a masterworks, and it gave me a plus 5 range. The perks that you see selected is what I have been using, and it is what I recommend. But, I'm kind of on the fence about either using corkscrew rifling, or fluted barrel on the Frostmire's Hex. Let me know in the comment section below, which one of these two barrels you guys think is better to use. The Frostmire's Hex is pretty much an updated Black Scorpion 4 SR. Side by side, Frostmire's Hex and the Black Scorpion 4SR have the same RPM, impact, power, assuming that is what the blank stat is, zoom, and inventory size. Where the Frostmire's Hex excels over the Black Scorpion is in range, reload speed, aim assist, and recoil direction. Now, less recoil direction is better. However, the Black Scorpion beats the Frostmire's Hex in stability and magazine size by like 2 points and handling by 4 points. But if you look at the comparison between the two in game, the Frostmire's Hex looks a lot more promising due to the fact that it looks like it has more range, stability, and handling. Now if you compare it to my Frostmire's Hex, it shows that it's a lot higher than what a normal Frostmire's Hex would be without Masterworks on the weapon. Now with all of that on paper stuff out of the way, the question still remains, is the Frostmire's Hex any good? Well, in PvP, I would say that it is an amazing scout rifle to use. I had way more fun than I thought I was going to have. This is of course after I noticed that the gun was a full auto scout rifle. Hashtag, check your perks first. This weapon is pretty good with body shots. Ha ha, body shots. But you definitely want to hit your headshots though, due to this being the fastest way to get a kill. It takes 4 headshots to kill an opponent in PvP. Now remember, this is a full auto scout rifle and 16 rounds even though in game it says 15 will go pretty quick if you are not getting all of your shots on target. The recoil of this weapon is pretty manageable and with the intrinsic perk the reload speed is crazy fast on top of its already decently fast reload speed. Dragonfly adds a little fuel to the fire which is always a great addition but I still think that Firefly from Destiny 1 is a better perk. I don't know, maybe Bungie will bring it back later on down the line. I will note that as of the script of this video, the Scout Rifle was ranked number 26 in PvP according to Destiny Tracker. Since then, it's been moved to rank number 50 and that's probably due to Iron Banner ending. I'm not sure how it performs in Trials, but I will try it out this weekend and I will add a notation in the description for you guys to let you know whether it's good or not. In PvP, this thing naturally destroys small adds like Thrall, Dregs, etc. And it only takes one headshot on them and enemies like low level Cabal need one headshot and one body shot or you could just do two headshots. Overall, this scout rifle is a really good contender in PvE and PvP 
but there are some issues. First is a two-part issue. The Frostmire's Hex shoots full auto, so a bigger magazine would have been nice. Even if it was just two rounds, making it 17 or 18, while you're still using high caliber rounds. I find myself running out of ammo even when I am getting headshots, but the fast reload speed does help in order to get back into the fight. Part 2 is this RPM in conjunction with range. I should never, ever, 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 ever get outgunned by a Uriel's gift from across the map. It just shouldn't happen, ever. I don't know if it's because auto rifles need to get their range nerfed, or maybe just the Uriel's gift, but scout rifles and sniper rifles should always be the highest ranged weapons in any shooter, period. Destiny 2 is no exception. Regardless, go ahead and use this weapon if you haven't already because on Tuesday, February 13th, the Crimson Days event will go live and this will definitely be a good weapon to use in Crimson Doubles. I'll be using it for sure. So, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new Iron Banner Scout Rifle Frostmire's Hex. Is it something you'd give a try or is it just sitting in your vault because you just wanted to collect it? Let me know. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.